Well, hello, Stampers. Good morning and happy Tuesday to you. It is the fourth Tuesday of November already. That means we only have one more card after this with the Arctic Bears series. And after this, we also transition to a whole different format for the Tuesday videos. Instead of subscribing for a specific card kit, it's now going to be parcels in the post. And you're actually getting a lot more raw materials. Um, and then you can decide from watching my videos which ones you're going to make. So instead of doing one project a week, there'll be at least two. And you get a, a wonderfully um, coordinated assortment of pattern paper and cardstock and ribbon and anything else that you might need to go with it so that you can make a lot of the projects that I will do in my parcels in the post. But today we are still focusing on the Arctic Bears bundle. So let's see what we're going to do today. Here we are. So the Arctic Bears bundle is, is just absolutely lovely. I, I love the, the two bears that are in here. There's also a third um, die. So you get three different types of bears in here. The two cutout stamped images and this gorgeous um, intricate detailed um, bear that we're going to use today. So let's have a look and see what we're going to do. We're also going to use this die today and it creates a wavy snowbank, a silhouette. Okay, so let's have a look see. We're also using the paper from the Peaceful Cabin. And I'm going to show you. So if you have the kit, I took it out and this this card came with me from Holland and I, I got it smudged. It's dirty in a few places, but still beautiful. And you'll notice that there's no sentiment on here. Now, if you're joining me for the first time, welcome. You will notice that there is a red button on the bottom right hand corner. If you click on that, then you're subscribed to my channel. And because I'm on almost at 4,000 subscribers, I'm doing a draw when we hit 4,000 subscribers. So if you subscribe and you comment on a video, you will be entered into the draw for some cabin dies. So I'm excited about that. Let's get started. So here we have a piece of pattern paper and that will fit right at the top of the card, like so. Oh, not like so, like so. So it is four and a quarter inches by I think four and three quarters. And then this tree we're going to cut out. It was from the um, Peaceful Place paper. And last week we used the other part of this paper with the three smaller trees. So anyhow, and then here I've already die cut the bear. Okay, so we'll start with this. And I like to use a liquid adhesive for this because it lets me slide things around a little bit. This side of the paper is also gorgeous. Um, See, once with your Tombow, if you haven't, if you um, didn't put it upside down right away, sometimes it gets a little clogged. That's okay. You can just peel that off and then it's usually good to go. A light hand is best with liquid adhesive. You don't want a thick line. You don't want it oozing anywhere. Okay. So we'll just turn that. And this paper has a silver sparkle. I don't know if you can see it. It's really beautiful. Now, because I didn't put a ton of adhesive, it doesn't slide around for long, so don't don't wait. This is actually the strongest adhesive that we have, believe it or not. Um, it stands the test of time, and that's why I've started using it. <clears throat> so now, see, we have three pieces of white, and we're just going to do the top of each one, and you want to stagger it a little bit so that they don't all look the same. Okay. So with our die cutting machine, I'm just going to move everything out of the way. We're going to use the base plate, and it tells you right here. So using with thin dies, you need number one, number two, number three, and then your piece of paper, and then your die, and then another number three. I love this uh, the fact that this machine is so easy to use. You don't have to guess which layers to use. You don't have to memorize anything. You don't have to keep a piece of paper handy there. And then we just put it in. <clears throat> and now it's quite, it's just like, and there's a big roller in the inside and we just go through there. And we'll take it all out. Now this machine, if you put it in your starter kit, this machine is $163, but the starter kit is on sale till the end of November. And so for $100, you can have this machine. No shipping, which is awesome. So now we have this one. And now we're going to do the second one. So I want to show you what I mean by this. See, so I have this one like that. Now I could just flip the other one. That's an option. But I want to make sure that it's not 
exactly. Oh, see, I've already flipped it. It's not a big deal. Um, I'll put this one like that and make maybe have it going up a little bit. So anyway, this is my favorite tool to put in the starter kit. But I did a blog post yesterday, and in the product list, I included some suggestions as to what I would put in a starter kit. If I was beginning with stamping, um, one of the things, and they're mostly tools, one of the things is a good paper trimmer. The other thing is um, a stamparatus. I use my stamparatus every day to, um, to guarantee my stamping success. See, so let's take a look at how we're doing here. Yeah, see how the, the silhouettes are different? There. Okay, now we just need one more. And you know, you could use the piece that got cut out, the, the negative. That would work. In fact, maybe I will do that. It's a little skinny. We'll do the third one. I'll use these for something else. So save your negatives and use them for something else. And this one, I'm going to go about halfway and have it going up a little bit. There. So, and people often ask about the starter kit and they say, well, I don't want to do what you do. I don't want to teach classes. I don't want to have any pressure. Well, you don't have to do what I do. There is no pressure for you to do anything, and you have nothing to lose. Well, looks, things look much brighter in the um, in the video. I have a little owie here, and it's really not that bad. But anyway, um, yeah, there's no pressure for me to do anything. And and the worst thing that can happen is that if you don't sell or buy enough to keep your discount, you just drop. You don't lose anything. You get to keep your good deal on all the stuff that you have. Um, you get to experience what it's like to be on my team. You get my training group for free. You get my prime time group for free. It's really wonderful. And you know what? I'm going to put this together now. So first we're going to put this longer piece right here. I'm, and I like, before I commit, I like to um, lay it all out to make sure I have it the way I want. That's going to go there, and then the last one is going to be popped up. But see, this one looks exactly the same as that one. I don't like that, so I'm going to flip it, or I'm going to use this piece here. I like that. Okay, so this one's going to go flat. Let's take the lid off, Jackie. There. Um, we have so much fun with my team. Next Tuesday, we have a Christmas party. And for my long distance members, we're going to do something with Zoom and I'm going to send them some fun things in the mail. They get a free tutorial every month. I like to make things so much fun on my team that people don't want to leave because after a while, your team members become like family members and it's a really a beautiful thing and makes me so happy. So, And I must be doing something right because I was number three in Canada for um, team building and leadership. Leadership was number four, I think, but that all has to do with how you nurture your team, and that made me really happy because that was my goal, and there. Maybe we'll do it this way. No. Nope. Anyway, you have to decide what you like the best. I'm going to put the bottom one up with dimensionals, and I do hope that if you have any questions about this, you ask me. The reason I, I'm going to use this little edge too, the reason that I talk about it so much is that because I wish that someone had invited me and told me about the Stampin' Opportunity with the kit earlier because I would have joined earlier, but I didn't want to teach. I had little kids, um, but if I had been told that I could do this just for my discount in a really casual way, I would have jumped at it and I would have had so many more wonderful years with Stampin' Up right at the beginning. So um, I, I just tell everybody, and sometimes we need to hear something a lot of times before we realize that, yes, this is true for me. So, yeah. So that's my motivation. Okay, so here I have the three layers of the snow bank. Isn't that great? Yeah. And now we're going to cut the tree. Here we go. And I don't know. So here I'm leaving it square till about there, and then I'm going to cut out the top. And you don't have to get too particular um, because it's not a it's kind of an artsy fartsy tree with blurred lines really it's not all distinct and perfect which is kind of neat I like that so you can just cut around loosely and then it doesn't take that much time so I am recording this video 
because then on YouTube I can watch the premiere with you and comment. I really like to do that and I will share it on Facebook too but if you're watching on Facebook I would really love it if you would hop on over to YouTube because apparently on YouTube sorry I'm not in the picture at all um, it, it's easier to reach new people and I just think this is a great hobby and the more people know about it the more lives will be changed. Um, I have firsthand seen the difference it can make for people because it does so many good things. It's not only a, a pleasure for you when you make the cards <clears throat> and when you enjoy the hobby and you get distracted from things that might not be going so well in your life, but you also then make someone happy when you send a card and it fosters relationships because not only do you make and send a card, you also take time to write something inside the card and that really, you know, those letters People don't save emails so much, but they do save handwritten cards and letters. I've been going through those things from my parents, and it is so wonderful. Those are memories. That gives people a glimpse into the lives of their loved ones that they might not otherwise have. So that's precious beyond words. Okay, so that's as far as I'll go. And now this is going to go right along the edge here. And let me just take a peek. My screen went dark. So here I'm going to put just adhesive. And then here at the top part, I'm going to do um, dimensionals so that it's all even. So dimensionals at the top, like so. And here. And then adhesive on the bottom. And I'm just going to peel these off right away. So then it's done. And then here we're just going to do some liquid there. And then it should be balanced nicely. And then all we have to do with this card here, and then just make sure it's nice and tight into the corner. There. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now all we need to do is put the bear on. And the bear, I don't know if you can see it, he has some, the light isn't great. He has some lines on him. He's, he's also embossed slightly. So you can put him in between the snowbank. You can put him up. I think I like him up high because then you see the silhouette. And it can go flat or he can be popped. And I think I'm going to do him flat because then he's kind of behind the tree. The tree is in the foreground ground and the bear is in the background. So this is just a very understatedly elegant card. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Oh, my Tombow is almost empty. Sorry about the dinging. Oh, see, I squeezed a bit too much there. Good thing I have lots of room. There. And he's going to go just like that. There. Isn't that pretty? That's it. And you know what? I'm going to pause it for a second so that I can show you the other cards. So here is the piece of paper that shows you where the tree came from. See, I've just cut this tree out. And then last week we used these trees. But this is just um, a 12 by 12 piece of paper from the Peaceful Place paper. And I just trimmed it down a little bit so that, let me just see, I'll grab my ruler. And let's have a look. Yeah, this is a five and a half inch card, five and a half inch square. So the pattern paper I've cut down to five and a quarter inch square. And all, all I did was add a beautiful saying and some silver cording and some jewels and you've got a really beautiful card. So if you like beautiful paper and you like simple cards, this peaceful place paper is the way to go. So here you can see I've just cut out that tree on the left and added it. And then let me see, here is the card. Let me just get this out of the way. Here's the card that we did last week and it just shows those trees to the right. So super simple and that black paper, the pattern paper at the back is from the host pattern party paper. So you can get a pack of 40 sheets of paper for free if with the $200 order. So that's really nice. Um, we did this one with the icicle dies and the ice flow. And this is the card we're going to be doing next week. And those are the trees from the peaceful cabin. And then that's the last die. That, oops, I've got some dust. I must have picked something up off the floor. Do you guys have dust in your house? Um, if you look carefully, you can see those little bits. That's from the last die that we haven't used yet. So that's the last card that we're going to do next week. And then this was the first card that we did. 
So I think that, I really think that these cards have shown the value and the versatility of this Arctic Bears stamp set. So here you have it. At the, if you are on YouTube, then if you click on see more or show more, then you'll see a product list of all the things that I've used to create this card or these cards. And uh, you can shop with me if you live in Canada. If you don't live in Canada, I do offer tutorials, PDF tutorials, and there is an Arctic Bears tutorial for only $10. So then you can make the card step by step. You don't have to guess about the measurements. It's instant gratification, and you can use the card layouts and the measurements with uh, for other designs with other stamp sets. So, thank you so much for joining me today. I just have this here so that you can find me in other places. I hope you check out my blog, um, my website for events and for um, ordering, and my Facebook page for all kinds of fun things. And if you have any questions, you can email me. So, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a super day. Bye.